Hey everybody, I'm Pat from Outside of Reviews and I'm just going to show you a couple points of why the Honda Prologue may be the better version of the Blazer. We all know they share the same platform. General Motors have this joint venture. Now, if you didn't check out our full review, click on the link above, check out the full detailed review. Now, this is going to be a short video. Just going to point out a few things that the Honda Prologue actually does better, in my opinion, than the Blazer EV. Let's get right into it now. Right here, this might look nice and simple. It's a spring-loaded charging port, but believe it or not, the Blazer EV actually has this motorized. So they put an electric motor in that. So the Honda Prologue took that out and just made it spring-loaded. I think that's going to increase your reliability and less things to go wrong down in the future. Now, with that same train of thought, let's go over here. We've got regular door handles. That's correct. Just regular good old fashioned door handles. And again, the Chevy Blazer EV went motorized for these things. So it's just an electric motor that pops them out and brings them flush. I just think, again, you're minimizing the amount of things that could go wrong, make it old fashioned, keep it simple, increase reliability. Third thing now, you can see the infotainment is different. That is actually not the thing that I'm talking it's better. I mean, it's just different, but the Chevy Blazer actually looks really good as well with the one big screen. I will say that this has wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Meanwhile, Chevy Blazer has foregoed with the wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So this still has the built-in navigation from Google. So. You got the built-in operation system by Google, which the Blazer offer, but you also have those other two. So, one thing to be noted is the Blazer EV, once the trial period is over, for you to use this navigation system is going to require a subscription. Subscription that's going to could cost you as high as $300 per year. So, that's another thing that Honda did better. They decided to give you wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You don't have to pay for subscription. If you want to use navigation, just use those. Now, lastly, I'm going to point out to the overall simplistic design. Nothing too flashy, doesn't look too space, look, space looking, and I actually like this design. It's still a quite robust look. You got a nice flat front end, but just, you know, nice linear LEDs. Everything looks really good. Now, this is highly subjective when I'm talking about style. So this last two points actually are going to have a lot to do with being subjective. This is what I prefer. And as well, the last one is the suspension is actually more rigid than the Blazer EV. So the Blazer EV is probably geared towards more comfort as opposed to this is more engaging of a ride so it depends what you want if you want to be comfortable then you know and you don't mind so much body roll then the blazer ev is probably going to be the one for you if you don't mind feeling a few bumps but you want to have less body roll when you're turning increase that contact patch then the honda prologue actually did a better job at fine tuning that suspension that is that's all my personal take on it and you don't have to agree with it, but that being said, it's, I want to hear your comments. So comment below, like, and subscribe, join the channel, watch the full review, and we'll see you next time.